If you've been out there looking for homes recently, you probably would have noticed that things are starting to slow down. Today I'm going to be going over the changes that occur during the summer markets and how it'll affect you if you're thinking about buying or selling. First of all, what happened in July was something that we typically see during the summer markets as sales started to slow down as people are more likely to go vacation with family and enjoy their time off with the kids. At the same time, we usually see new listings slow down as well because people are less likely to be getting their homes ready while they're spending time at the beach. But don't worry, that's not necessarily a bad sign. If we compare July 2023 to July 2022, we still have substantially more sales happening, even though we just went through two consecutive rate hikes. And the reason for that is because in 2022, there was a lot of uncertainty in the market, a lot of speculation that the market was crashing, and people were just unwilling to continue their search because they thought that prices would drop substantially. However, in comparison, July 2023, prices actually still continue to rise. So it does show that there's still a lot of strength and positivity in the market paired with the extremely low levels of inventory available and the increasing numbers of immigration. I think there is a strong enough support for the market to not go into free fall like it did this time last year with sales going down active listings rose which means there's a lot of homes left over from the previous months which has now driven down sales to active ratio and that usually signifies that we're transitioning from a seller's market to a balanced market this time around things are different moving from such a strong seller's market we're still technically in a seller's market with the average sales to active ratio well above 20%. In the detached market, when it came to the most popular neighborhoods in Langley, we had Walnut Grove, Brookswood, Alder Grove, and very closely behind Langley City. In terms of condos and townhomes, Murrayville had 100% sales through ratio, followed closely by Willoughby and Walnut Grove. So you can see there's still a lot of activity considering we're in probably one of the slowest months of the year, aside from December when people just check out completely. Sale prices are still continuing to rise slightly due to low inventory levels. And even though there is an interest rate pending in September, I think if these levels of inventory continue, there's still a lot of support for the market that we have here in the lower mainland. So we shouldn't see too much of an adjustment in prices. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. My contact details are down below. And if you don't already follow me, I make videos like this every single month along with neighborhood tours and home tours. So you can see what's out there in Langley and the surrounding areas. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.